everyone, welcome back to Mochi's channel. Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to get started using a clicker for your dog training and also some examples of some skills that you can use a clicker in. Spoiler alert, it's pretty much any skill you want to teach them you can use a clicker with, but there is some tricks to um, the timing you should do it and how you should use it, so let's get started. So first and foremost, as most of you probably already know, the clicker is basically um, something to use to capture good behavior. Like when you click, it literally marks or captures the exact moment your dog is doing something right. The science behind it is the sound of the click a dog is going to associate with treats. So they learn that with this sound, they are doing something right. See, and a treat is on its way. And even now with Mochi been using this clicker for as long as I've had him, so like almost a year, I never ever ever want to click and not give him a treat because then that's going to defeat the purpose. So the reason why this is so useful that this sound means a treat is because training is going to become super fun for them. It increases their enthusiasm and it's just a great way to speed up training and make it more efficient. You could do a lot more research online. I'm not going to go too far into the science behind of it. With the clicker, you're marking the exact, exact, exact moment that they're doing something right and that way it's easier for them to comprehend why they're getting the treat afterwards and it's just going to speed up your training and I've seen such a big difference. I think the first month I had Mochi I actually didn't use a clicker because I didn't know how and I didn't know why it works but the moment I started using the clicker his recall got better he knows so many tricks now and I think it's all attributed to using a clicker let me just show you an example right here so I'm gonna make Mochi do touch which is when he puts his nose on my hand you're gonna want to mark so click exactly when his nose touches my hand because that's the correct behavior for that command so would you touch yes you see how I clicked exactly when his nose touched my hand? Okay, so all you need to start introducing your clicker to your dog is obviously your clicker and some treats. I have my treat bucket here and your mochi. So here's my mochi, um, <laughs> your dog. So at first you're just gonna click for apparently no reason and then immediately reward. So right now we're just building association between this sound and the treat. So watch Mochi when I click, he's going to get really excited for that treat coming his way. Right? So you can't even see his eye contact, but basically he was looking at me. The moment I clicked, he looked at my bucket of treats. So that basically shows that he already has that association. But if you're just getting started, again, just repeat this a few times. Click for no reason. Don't make him do anything and treat. The point of this, again, is just to build that association in his mind between this sound and the tree. So after a few rounds of random clicking and rewarding, you can start incorporating your clicker in actual training. So you might have a new puppy that doesn't know any tricks yet, or maybe you're trying to incorporate clicker training into a dog that already has some skills. So you can use your clicker to teach or practice. The rule still applies no matter what the situation. You click as soon as they execute the good behavior. For example, if you're teaching or maybe practicing sit, the moment their butt touches the ground, you click and reward. So another example, if you're trying to teach lie down, the moment their elbows hit the ground, you click and reward. Throughout this video, it looks like I'm giving Mochi like a ton of treats. It's just because I never want to click without rewarding him and that actually should apply to everyone. Don't go around your house clicking randomly and not rewarding him, that's gonna ruin the whole thing. For commands of distance between you and your dog, a big example obviously recall training, so come. The clicker is actually amazing because again, you can capture good behavior from far away. So for come specifically, some people click as soon as the dog looks at you when you say the word come, or some people click when your dog actually reaches you. I personally recommend that at the beginning of your recall training, click as soon as your dog looks at you when you say come, um, and then as he gets better and better, start increasing the time you wait until you click. So a few weeks after or you start a recall training, you might click when they're halfway from where they were to you, when they're running their fullest speed because you want to mark that behavior of running to you when you say come. And then after you do that for a little bit, you might click when they actually reach you. And that way you're going to start gradually increasing the standards because ultimately you want to teach them that come means come all the way to you. But again, if you start clicking when they first look at, look at you, you can gradually teach that instead of throwing them into the deep end basically. Um, I think examples will better show how to properly use the clicker in everyday dog training. So here are some clips of me and Mochi using our clicker in our training. Paw. Yes. Touch. 
Yes. Okay guys, I hope this helps you get started with your clicker and incorporate it into your training with your dog. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on Mochi's channel. Bye! Good boy.